Hi friends, this is Butch at Sand Hollow Homestead, Sand Hollow, Idaho. Today, I started out wanting to get some spraying done because it's perfect right now. And my doggone uh, spare battery's dead. So I'm charging that up and I thought while I was doing, waiting around for that battery, I'll just go ahead and play around with the rototiller a little bit and bust this up. Now I'm not ready for the garden yet because I got a lot of stuff to break down, but over here this will work. So take a few minutes just to till this up. Then uh, then I'll be back over there to get my sprayer. You can see it looks a lot better all I'm doing is busting the top up not going deep this year I probably won't even be planting anything in there as far as I know the area is still young but I'm going to move over to another section that I can rototill so I'll bring you along Well, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, for those folks that thought that my little John Deere manual lift rototiller was an easy job, nah, it takes some guts to pull that thing up out of the dirt and lock it up. Of course, going down's a little easier, isn't it? <laughs> but. Those two sections, I think, are tilled enough for now. I wanted to bust those small roots on the very top. That looks pretty good. So now I'm ready to get my weed burner and my rake and start raking. I got to pull all these weeds and seed out of this bed here and then take down all my tomato cages and uh, so all that tomato cage vines and everything's got to be thrown in the piles my corn I want to dig up I got a bunch of work to do but I thought I'd go check and see how that battery's doing for my sprayer well this little battery came out of the Dodge uh, pickup that we bought a few years back and that could have been one of the original batteries. I really don't know, but uh, it was dead. It, it died, and I I keep trying to re raise it from the dead. As long as it's got enough charge that I can run my sprayer, that's all I care. I'm going to try to use it. So let's see what we can do. Not working. Well, either my pump's bad or my battery's bad. I'm going to have to pull out another battery and see what it does. Well, I found a battery that would charge up enough that I was able to spray probably about 10, 12 gallons of of spray and I hit the perimeter of my property where those uh, sandburrs are located they came in from that other other side on the east side and uh, I'm not sure if it was on the other property or if it came in on the road but it 
it's bred and and I actually have it down in my driveway down in there so I have a feeling like I might have been dragging some seed around myself but I got it sprayed so I feel like it was a good day I got two areas rotor tilled and uh, it, the winds getting too strong now for me to spray anymore so I quit and I thought I'd just uh, go ahead and charge up this battery uh, overnight and I got it on trickle charge and it's good enough to uh, to use and I do have like I say I have a little bit left in that uh, 15 gallon container so that's a good deal and when I get a chance I'll uh, hit it again now farmers been out burning and disking and getting some of the fields ready and that's what we have to do this time of year is get right on it so it's been a really good day got a bunch done I feel good about that I will have to get my hoses set up get the water in. you can see things are drying out and I don't know that we'll be getting much rain we're supposed to be getting rain but I don't know looks pretty clear so from San Hollow Homestead I'm wishing you the best come back again when you have time and uh, we'll see you later <laughs>